Well, Charlotte police released dash cam and body cam video Saturday following days of protests over the death of Keith Lamont Scott in the dash cam video. You can see police surround Scott's car and officers are heard saying drop the gun. Scott's wife can also be heard on the video saying he doesn't have a gun. Protests remained peaceful Saturday night as hundreds of people took to the streets in Charlotte. A midnight to 6 a.m. curfew has been in place since Thursday. Errol Barnett is in Charlotte right now. Errol, I want to ask you about Sunday's Carolina Panthers game against the Minnesota Vikings. It's being treated as an extraordinary event by officials to enhance security. What do we know about this event? Well, essentially, Rena, that means two things. One, there's heightened security. And if you quickly pan to the left, you'll see uh, the National Guard, uh, if you look to the right, just passing in some Humvees. And behind me, um, you'll see something you see posted all around the stadium, which are police officers equipped in riot gear. They've got uh, their vests on, but they've also received a very warm welcome from fans, people walking up, shaking their hands, giving them a hug, telling them they support what they do. The other factor of this extraordinary event is restrictions on what fans can bring into the stadium and in the vicinity. We watched just a few moments ago as one man was detained by police, he says, because he had a gas mask in a backpack and fluid, he said, uh, was for his eyes in case there was tear gas. Um, he says he's being detained because those items are not allowed during what is now an extraordinary event. So these are heightened security measures meant to uh, keep a clamp down on if there's any unrest. Now there's been no sign of unrest. In fact, I saw a few demonstrators with Black Lives Matter um, posters in their hands handing out hugs to fans and to police. So we haven't seen the type of friction that was expected. Uh, we also saw uh, this morning that the teams made efforts to get to the stadium safely. We witnessed as a few coach buses uh, went around the stadium uh, preceded and followed by police vehicles. So that gives you a sense of the heightened security here in Charlotte today. And all of this arena comes after the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department released new footage from the shooting of Keith Scott and images which represent evidence. They say, along with a detailed account, that he had possession of marijuana and once police officers who were at the apartment building to serve an arrest warrant to someone else, once they saw that he had a gun as well, they decided to put on uh, special bulletproof vests, return and demand that he drop his weapon. That footage is still being seen here by people for the first time. You can hear police demand that he drop the weapon. You see them try to break the rear passenger window and you also see two new vantage points of the moment that he's shot by police. Um, the family says all of this raises new questions for them. At no point do you see him holding a weapon, and at no point do you see him uh, pointing his arms towards police. In fact, the moment he's struck by the fatal bullets, his arms are down. So the Keith Scott family in a press conference yesterday said this raises more questions for them than it answers, and they wonder if the simple fact that he had possession of marijuana and the possession of a gun really made it necessary for the police to use the amount of force they did in confronting him. So they are still mourning. He has seven children and a wife. Uh, the lawyers representing the family and the widow's brother and sister addressed the media yesterday. Uh, but essentially, the city remains at somewhat of a standstill. Uh, overnight, Saturday into Sunday, protests were peaceful. You can expect protests to continue. But for now, Rena, I can tell you that Charlotte is trying to get back to a sense of normalcy. Errol Burnett in Charlotte. Errol, thank you so much for that report.